basic formula building in spreadsheets. Now let's try to calculate formula. The sum of numbers from row 2, the row 2 is here, to row 5. Row 5 is here. Column number E and row 2 to 5. Now first of all, I must click on the cell where I want the result of the formula to appear. This is my destination cell. That is E12, you can see E12 here. And my formula, every formula must begin with an equal to sign. So I begin with equal to sign. You can see the formula bar here. You can see the formula bar. Then I what I want is the sum. So I write sum and begin a parenthesis. And what sum do I want? Row 2 to row 5. So I click on row 2 and then with a colon, I click on row 5 and I close the parenthesis and enter. So here is the sum. Sum of what? E2 to E5. The beauty of this is even if I change the data in any one of the source cells, the formula automatically changes the result. Now let's see instead of 1, I write 5 here. So I can clearly see the difference in the resultant cell. That is the formula is automatically calculating the data from the given reference. This was when we wanted the sum in continuation. Supposing I don't want uh, from E2 to E2 to E5 but I want uh, certain cells like some of the numbers in row th e, uh, 3, 4 and 7. Now how to calculate that? Again begin with an equal to sign and write sum and parenthesis and what I want is row 3 it's here then a comma then I want row 4 another comma and then I want row 7 so this is the formula and close the parenthesis and enter here is the formula again you can check by changing any one of the or all of the uh, cells like instead of 3 I make it 4 and I can see the result changing from 11 to 12 now one more formula product of numbers in column E and in column F that is E and F now let's see what I want is a product equals to for product I can write uh, an asterisk which is a symbol for multiplication click e2 then write an asterisk that is you can uh, do it with shift and 8 then I want f2 and enter the formula is complete and the result is ready one more beauty of the spreadsheet is you need not to build the formula again and again once the formula is ready it can be copied or dragged see the formula here has been dragged to all the rows this calculates e2 and f2 the product of e2 and f2 in the same way this ca calculates e3 f3 e4 f4 and so on so how can this be used in teaching how can we use spreadsheet technique or formula building in teaching very well we can use it very well now see here is a test i have prepared for my students i'm using spreadsheet technique in evaluation uh, question one there are four options and students answer is left blank and teachers suggested answer or the correct answer has been already written but it is hidden when we give it to the student you can hide and I'm unhiding it just to show you how this formula building helps And now let's see the correct answer is B now see uh, let's go to question one the least prime number is the student has four options 
uh, the correct answer is 2 we know it that is answer is C now let's see what happens when the student writes an answer C he can write small c or capital it makes no difference in this case what the spreadsheet does is it compares the student's answer with the teacher's answer and if both are correct it gives an R R for right see the formula how is it if or g6 equals to blank and f6 equals to blank I have applied a condition if g6 is blank and f6 is blank what I want is a blank in the destination if this condition is not true it must test another condition if f6 equals to g6 f6 that is students answer equal to g6 that is teachers answer in that case it must write an R, R for right. If these two conditions are not true, it will take a default, default value that is W, W for wrong. So in this way, the student's answer is automatically evaluated and at the end, we can use the summation rule, summation formula and uh, again, we can put some conditions also if you want negative marking or something like that and we can calculate the entire score of the student without having to manually evaluate the answer so this technique can very well be used for evaluation purpose thank you very much